Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Synergy 2CP module. So I've been wanting to check these out for a while. If anyone isn't familiar with Synergy, they are preamp modules typically designed by the company and builder that the module is based on, like the Ingle Savage model is based off of an Ingle Savage and is made by the guys at Ingle. Or the same goes for the Sedano SLO 100 module that they have or the Friedman model and so on and so forth. Uh, but this module in particular isn't actually designed by Mesa the 2CP module was designed by Fryette. Now, I was fortunate enough to have a friend who had picked up a bunch of these modules and offered to loan them to me so I could finally feature these on the channel. So I'm pretty stoked to finally be able to check these out and show them to you. So the 2CP module, as it implies, is based off of a Mesa Mark 2C+. So I figured since I have a Mesa JP2C and the second channel in my Mesa JP2C, Mesa says that that is a perfect recreation of a 2C plus lead channel, I figured, why not compare the two? We're gonna compare the module to the actual amplifier and we're gonna compare the five band EQ built into the module to the five band EQ built into the Mesa and see how close both the channels and the EQs get to each other. Something pretty cool you can do with these modules with a lot of different effects loops and amplifiers is essentially you wire them into the effects loop, they have their own built in effects loop, and then you plug into the back of them and then the back of this plugs into the front of the amplifier and it essentially turns it into another channel or if you have one of the bigger units, multiple channels of your favorite amplifier. Unfortunately, and they do put this on the website, some effects loops for some amplifiers are a little weird and they specifically name that there's a lot of Mesa amps that don't necessarily work with this. And unfortunately, one of those was my JP2C. It was like stacking some dry signal and it just wasn't working right. so. In order to demo this, uh, both in and out of a mix, I'm just gonna have this module going into the effects loop return, and that worked perfect, and we can still use the EQs, and everything will be just fine. I just won't be able to switch it as if it's a channel on the amplifier, unfortunately. So I figured we're gonna see this inside of a mix, and then we're gonna hear it outside of a mix, and we're just gonna kinda compare everything. I'm basically just focusing on the distortion channel since I have the lead channel built into my JP2C, and I figured that's probably going to be the most interesting comparison to see how close this actually gets to the Mark 2C Plus lead sound. Let's check it out.
So I am rather impressed with how this thing sounds. I think it sounds great, especially for the money. I think that this thing really nails that Mark II C Plus tone. There were some differences between this and the channel and my JP Two C, but they weren't worlds apart. I think the five band EQ and the EQ built into the JP Two C were a little bit off from each other. I felt like the extremes of the one built into uh, the two CP module were. Uh, it, it gets a little bit harsh on the top end if you boost it all the way. I felt like it went to higher extremes than I can get to. But overall, it really nails that sound. It really captures what it's trying to capture and emulate, especially for someone that maybe doesn't want to pick up a JP2C or find a Mark 2C Plus on the used market. This will get you there and then some. It's a fantastic little preamp. Now, something I did notice, speaking of the EQs, was I was told with these modules and I've seen around people saying that you have to EQ these a bit more extreme and differently than you would the actual amplifier that they're based off of. And I definitely felt that with this, I had to just dime the treble and cut the low end basically completely to get the kind of clarity and feel that I wanted going into the preamp because just like on a real Mesa Mark series amplifier, this EQ, the three band is a passive EQ that's actually before the preamp. So you're kind of just tone shaping going into it. But even with that, I still had to do more extreme tone shaping and more extreme EQ moves than I did on my actual Mesa JP2C. And the last thing that I really noticed that was different was it has a touch less gain and it's a bit uh, drier than my JP2C. But honestly, that wasn't an issue. And as you were able to hear, I was still able to get awesome high gain metal tones out of it. Overall, I would say this thing nails it. It does a really good job, and for anyone looking for that sound, I would say check it out. I'm excited to check out the other modules I was loaned, and hopefully I'll be able to have more Synergy stuff on the channel in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay metal.